I'm Leon Todd for G66. Welcome to another Tuesday Tone Tip. Today, I want to show you how I use the channels library to save my favorite effect block and amp settings, and then how I would use the channels library to build presets from scratch. At the moment, I am on factory preset 380, which is my live preset. I've got a Warmoth Telecaster style guitar with some vintage soul telly pickups in there running into the USA lead mid gain. Uh, anyone who tells you tellies can't play metal or rock, uh, try this preset with a telly, you get this. <laughs> nice and spicy. Let's say those amp settings I want to have instant access to. All I have to do is come down here the little arrow there for library, uh, it's a triangle, an arrow, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we can just hit save on that and then we can save either this current channel or all four channels, the entire block of this particular preset. I'm going to go with save only current channel, which will save channel A, the settings I've got loaded at the moment, to my channels library. And you can see now there's a little library entry down here. Let's do the same with the cabinet block. So I'll hit save here. I'm going to just save that particular channel. I'll just go with Leon's Live. I know it's a different block. I know it's going to match up with that amp block. And I'm pretty good to go there. So I've saved my amp and my cab setting right there. I wouldn't mind, say, saving the multiband compressor settings as well. So let's do that from this particular preset. I'm not going to use any of the effects from there though. Let's navigate to another preset and maybe uh, save some effects from there. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go presets. I'll navigate to Mark Day's factory preset, which sounds amazing. <laughs> There is an awesome pitch detune on there that I want to save. So I'll hit save on that. And let's just call this uh, maybe Mark Day Detune because that is uh, what it's doing. And that's a preset it's coming from. You can give it a custom name, whatever you want. I really like the way he's using two reverbs here as well. I might just take this small room reverb. Let's hit that and we'll save it as uh, Mark Day's room right there. Okay, I've got the big greasy pitch detune and the big room reverb from there. Let's navigate to another preset. There is this Larry Mitchell preset in here. And from memory, I'm actually, uh, my memory's failing me here, but I think it's scene four. Ah, uh, yeah, we have these two delays. I'm going to take uh, this deluxe mind guy delay. And same thing, I'm just going to save that one channel in there. Uh, so we've got that. And then I'm going to navigate to another preset. Let's try this Pete Thorne factory preset in here. And I really like the, uh, what is it? Scene three is the lead scene. Yeah, the blue solo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a different delay. I'm also going to save that to my channels library. Awesome. And maybe let's just add one or two other effects in here. There's this Devin Townsend factory preset, which sounds pretty amazing, especially on the main kind of heavy scene, which in this case is scene five. <laughs> I really like that delay as well. So I'm going to save that as another delay channel. Just as an example, let's go to a blank preset now. I'll come over here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to build up a custom preset from scratch using those blocks. So what did I have? I had some amps, some detunes, some cabs. I had the multiband compressor settings and I had a bunch of different delays. So let's just quickly add some inputs and outputs. Uh, I can do it like this by right clicking or I can use the quick build over here. Quick build is quicker as you would expect. So I'll go amp, cab. What else did I have? A multiband compressor. I had a big room reverb. I had delay in there. I don't want to use all three delays at the same time. So I'm just going to go with one delay block right there. And let's add a pitch block for that big greasy pitch detune. OK, this is where the fun begins. I basically don't have to twist any knobs in here. I can just go, you know what? I wanted my Mark series settings in there. I wanted the cab I was using. 
I wanted the multiband compressor settings from my live preset. On channel A, let's go with the heavy devi delay. On channel B, let's go for the Larry Mitchell delay. And on channel C, let's go for this Pete Thorne delay that they've uh, done all the hard work on for us. For the dual D tune, let's go for Mark Day's D tune. And let's also use his room reverb on there. So I'll just turn all the effect blocks off. This is the core amp sound. <laughs> I like that, let's add the big room reverb. Wonderful stuff, let's add the big greasy pitch detune to that. That's amazing. And let's add, uh, let's say for scene one, I'll go with this stereo BBD delay from the Devon Townsend preset. <laughs> I like that a lot. Absolutely love that. Let's hit save on that one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this scene to end. So this is gonna be kind of the basis for all my other scenes on there. On scene two, let's just change the delay channel over here. So I've got this Larry Mitchell delay from his preset. <laughs> Now, one thing with that particular delay in Larry's preset, there were two delays in there and you'll notice that the balance is all the way to the left here. Easy to fix. Let's just put that balance right down the middle, set it at zero. <laughs> I really like the tone and the number of repeats there. I might just bring the mix down a little bit. And that is just about right. That's really all the tweaking I have to do there. On the third scene, we'll just use a different delay. We'll go for the stereo tape. <laughs> It's almost too easy using the channels library like this. We'll hit save there. Uh, I wouldn't mind a clean sound for this particular preset though. So rather than bring up a clean amp, uh, I'm gonna do this. I know that factory preset, I think 72, am I right? 72, it's a band commander. I absolutely adore the way this band commander sounds clean. <laughs> Pretty gorgeous clean sound right there. Let's uh, save this to the channels library as well, along with this glorious concert hall reverb and the cab there. So I can basically just take that particular sound and pop it in the other preset. Now I've called this band commander. Again, you can give it any name you like. I'm just gonna hit save on it for uh, just the convenience of moving along quickly. Now let's go back over to our preset, which I should have named, but I do remember it was 392. What we'll do is I will navigate to scene four. Now in scene four, I'm gonna change the amp channel and I'm gonna use the channels library to load those band commander settings. That easy, I'll do the same with the cabinet. We'll load up the corresponding band commander settings. I'm gonna turn uh, all this stuff except the pitch block off. And then on the reverb, I'll also go to channel B and I'll bring up that reverb from the band commander preset. Uh, maybe let's actually start with the pitch off and then I'll add it to this preset. <laughs> Same tone as we had in the other preset, but of course now I can add some fun stuff to all of that. Let's add uh, maybe channel C on the delay and we'll go for channel A on the D tune. <laughs> Thank you.
You can of course use the channels library on all of the Fractal audio devices, the Axe FX3, the FM9 and the FM3 with all of the blocks on there. And if you save them to the same folder and you have multiple devices, you can share blocks between the various devices. If you're using say like an FM3 live for some gigs, an FM9 live for other gigs and you've got an Axe FX3 at home, this is a really great way to just kind of keep everything consistent and organized between your studio presets and your live presets. It's the way that I do it. And I find this is just a great way if you bring up a preset either from the factory banks or a third party preset and there's a particular effect that you love the sound of in there, just you can instantly add it to your library. It's almost like having a favorite stomp box or rack effect unit with a particular preset that you just know when you hit that on, it's a little bit of extra secret source. And I just find it makes the workflow for building custom presets that much faster. So that's how I use the channels library. It was recently recently added uh, to Axe Edit, FM9 Edit and FM3 Edit. It is probably uh, one of the best usability improvements that has ever happened across the entire history of Axe Edit, in my opinion. All right, that is all for today's Tuesday Tone Tip. If you have any other questions or suggestions, let me know in the comments. And if you start using this approach, uh, what sort of presets are you building? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from everybody and just how they end up using any of these Tuesday tone tips that we do here on the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.